Is there a skip egg a hutty hook, a skrier hook, a misk nashia skippy and egg barn a league? Ha nyakli partic thistle, Thomas Cherney, with the falcon will touch a contesence, it will be commanded still yet. Very difficult so far. Um, I think the when the fixtures came out in summer, uh, we knew we are in for a very difficult start to the season. Um, the you know first five six games, there's not many games that you would expect to win, and and so the the run we had at the early early in the season uh, was disappointing, and and then when you are then losing games, it's not not easy then to come back and then start winning games. Thomas Genevieck will be in the middle of the game and he will be in the middle of the game and he will be in the middle of the game. Since Kenny came in, is, um, obviously he's played for Tessel many, many games and spent the uh, majority of his career in the club, so he knows what is it about. He knows the club inside out and we all can learn a lot of things because uh, he's been I think down in relegation, promotions, been through, through it all really, so it's good to have him. In terms of a group of goalkeepers, I think we have a really good mix with me being the experienced guy, um, being called fossil sometimes, I think, because I'm the oldest guy in the team. And then we have Ryan Scully, who is in a really good age for a goalkeeper, uh, 25, with a bit of experience, uh, working hard. And then we have the young Jamie, who um, just came you know full time and it works really hard and and has been very very good very professional and and obviously having Kenny um, is is good for for all of us because he can give us the, uh, his experience and and he works really hard as a as a coach and and there's a good kind of camaraderie and and good um, good environment to work. Ik ga je een ochtend als een keer plezier doen met jeder gekuschelde te lopen. Ik is niet ben, ik is alleen een alpen nog ik. Hij schiet me aan jeun te gaan de week Thomas aan de balkasje. Scotland is my my home at the moment. You know my family are still back in the Czech Republic, but uh, out of last ten years, I spent seven and a half years here and more than that uh, already in Scotland. Uh, I have a Sc Scottish wife. My boy was born in in Scotland, so I do feel home here. And as a guy who's been interesting, has been, you know, a bit of moving about, just experiencing different countries and coming here to Scotland when I was still relatively young, I think I was 21 or 22 when I came over, it uh, has definitely changed my life because I um, got a chance playing here regularly in the, in the SPL with Hamilton and, and that didn't give me exposure, it allowed me to move to a, uh, CSK Sofia, big club in Bulgaria, and, and I had a good spell with Greece as well, and, and it changed my life in terms of just moving abroad and then learning different languages, uh, meeting so many interesting people from from all over the world, which I still keep in touch with, and just I think just moving away uh, gives you a very different perspective on, on things and. And so I always be thankful for, thankful to Scotland as a country for basically <laughs> accepting me very, very quickly and, and just getting the opportunity here. And because it has uh, changed my career and has changed my life. Le Comerson is quite kind in Evidian, had Thomas and Fellach in Kavit Balkosha at Karaman and Hurstga, and had a guest on the Driakil. I studied at university when I was uh, still playing back home. I finished my degree there before I moved, in, moved here. So if I didn't play football, I'd probably go on that route. I would probably continue my studies and, and you never know where that would take you. But for sure, uh, through playing football, it allowed me to, to, to live in you know, uh, four different countries and have Pretty, you know, amazing experiences. Han Karstus at the Hain is a look length in your party thistle, a course to the Thomas. It's, you know, it's something that's, that's really amazing. Uh, it's something that I do really, you know, appreciate and enjoy. It's probably 
you know, this f football can be quite tough at times and there's not many moments, I think, especially for the goalkeeper when you are just buzzing to be out there and, and enjoying it. It's a lot of uh, pressure, a lot of stress coming with it as well. And I think those, those moments when we have a good game and win the game, and you can go and celebrate with the fans. It just takes a few seconds, but that's that's probably the highlight of of my week or month. And and so it's something I'm really thankful. At the same time, there's a lot of <laughs> responsibility because you don't want to uh, let them down, you know. Uh, uh, and it's, it's something I <laughs> I don't take lightly, you know. But uh, as I said, I, I do really appreciate the the relationship I have with the fans and, and I hope it will continue that way.